Firelight lit the listeners' faces. Words mingled with the flames, and from the leaping land of fire came old legends, tales of the past, inspiration for the present, hope for the future. They joined the dancing shadows in the room. They echoed into the starry night and took flight over the sleeping land. They told of a secret road, sisters that could bind the wind, rivers that answered their master's call, men turned to stone for their folly, Piskies and the Pisky led, the great storm woman of Bodmin Moor, a great dragon defeated by kindness. They told of treachery and trust, they told a thousand stories that still live in every granite stone, every blade of grass of the ancient land of Cornwall. The stories ended, it was the child's bedtime, but outside there was a sudden noise. The man ran to the door, the sky was bright with flame. One, two, ten houses were burning. Quick, he cried, come outside. As his wife and child ran into the street, a firebrand curved through the air into the thatch of the cottage. In an instant the straw was ablaze. But then the child cried, wait, I forgot something and ran back inside the burning house. The year was 936. The place was Exeter. It was the day that Athelstan of Wessex declared, the Cornish are a contaminated race. I want Exeter purged and Devon cleansed of the Cornish. Send them to the Tamar or the grave. And that night, the Cornish quarter of Exeter was burned 